Though billed as the world's fastest cartoonist, Sergio Aragonés' greatest skill is not the speed with which he races time, but the razor-sharp wit which bends it to his will. A working cartoonist by age 17, Aragonés maintained weekly strips in a wide array of Mexican publications. But it was at the University of Mexico, where a class in pantomime under the avant-garde filmmaker and comics legend Alejandro Jodorowsky would solidify his improvisational approach through loose, cartoonish figures and the lush, detailed ambience that balances and engulfs them. Aragonés controls the pace of the reader's attention. Each frame, a thoughtful snapshot, that leisurely strolls toward punchlines that revel in humanity's cosmic insignificance. By 1962, Aragon has decided to try his luck in the States, eventually arriving at the doorstep of Mad Magazine. Despite the language barrier, Mad Editor Al Feldstein and publisher Bill Gaines loved Aragonés' work and invited him to quite literally make Mad his home, as for months he slept overnight in Gaines' office. Working continually from 1963 to 2020, Aragonés gained notoriety for the wordless gags and his tiny pantomime vignettes at the edges of the magazine's pages. At DC Comics, he helped create titles such as the western Bat Lash, but his growing frustration with DC's insistence on work-for-hire contracts propelled Aragonés to do and own his own thing. Debuting in 1982, Aragonés' creation, Grew the Wanderer, is the missing link between Homer Simpson and Conan the Barbarian, a dim-witted but unbeatable warrior who stumbles through and collides with the machinations of a savage world beyond his, or perhaps anyone's, understanding. With the help of translator and co-writer Mark Evanier, Aragonés has shaped Gru into one of the longest-running creator-owned comics properties of all time, affirming in the process that comedy will always have a place in comics.